Black America for 200. In October 1991, he was who is Clarence the Thomas? Sixth Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. Cindy. Who is Thomas? Clarence Thomas. Yes. Black America for 400. In 1986, he was named Best Morning TV News Interviewer by the Washington Journal Review. Cindy. Who is Brian Gumbel? Correct. Black America for 600. In 1907, he outlined some who of the Who is Scott ideas Joplin? Of called the School of Ragtime. Tim. Who is Scott Joplin? Yes. Black America for 800. Succeeding the Celtics' Red Auerbach in 1966, Bill Russell? he became the first black to coach an NBA team. Cindy. Who is Oscar Robinson? No. Gary. Who is Bill Russell? Bill Russell is right, and the last clue is yours, Gary. It is the other Daily Double. And it's almost a question of do or die for you. You're still within reach of the lead, but Jim has 3,100 more than you at this moment. 3,300. All right, that'll put you in the lead if you are right on this clue in Black America. In 1977, she was awarded the San Francisco Opera Medal to mark the 20th anniversary of her debut with the company. Was Leontine Price? You are right, and you have the lead with $10,000 even. And we have got quite a match in this, our first game for 1992. Let's find out now what we have in the way of prizes for our runners-up on today's program. Remember, the champion will keep the cash. The others will get this. Johnny? For today's second-place contestant, we'll fly you and a companion to London on Lufthansa, the experienced traveler's first choice for dependable quality service to 179 cities and 82 countries around the world. And you'll spend a week at a luxurious all-suite hotel. Conrad London is located in the exclusive Chelsea Harbor Marina, just off the fashionable King's Road and overlooking the Thames. For today's third place contestant, Dynamark Security Center's Olympic 17 Intrusion and Fire Protection System offers the sophistication of wireless radio technology with maximum flexibility and user convenience to protect your home and family 24 hours a day. Dynamark Security Centers, we protect America. And the Nintendo Entertainment System with the new editions of Super Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune featuring Vanna White plus Infogenius, the new line of productivity packs for use on your Nintendo Game Boy. And now once again... Here's Alex. So far in this game, everything seems to be going the way of the gentlemen, Jim and Gary. Their reflex is a little faster than Cindy, but I have said this on many, many occasions because they're going to have to guard against each other. Strategy will be very important in the final Jeopardy, and Cindy could wind up as our new Jeopardy champion. Let's take a look at the category and see how that affects our players. <laughs> Business and industry. Think about that, contestants. Make your wagers. We'll be back with final Jeopardy, ladies and gentlemen, right after this. Once I read the clue in the category of business and industry, our contestants will have 30 seconds to write down their question. Let's take a look at today's final Jeopardy answer. It is, this chain of 748 shoe stores was named for a Scottish professional golfer. Good luck, players. Cindy, we're going to begin with you. You had $1,400. What did you put down as your response? What is Kinney? Sorry, that is incorrect. What was your wager? Bet it all. $1,400. That takes you down to nothing. Let's come to our champion, Jim Weinstein. He had second place and $9,800 going into the round. And he wrote down, what is Tom McCann? That is right. His wager, $8,000. Giving him the lead once again with a total of $17,800. In the middle, Gary Weishadl. $10,000. His response, what is Tom McCann? Correct. If he bet more than $7,800, he will be the new Jeopardy! champion. The wager was $9,700. We have a winner in Gary Weishadl and a big, big win of $19,700. Congratulations, Gary. We'll see you tomorrow. Please join us again, won't you, ladies and gentlemen? Come on.